Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Intermediate 55. Behavior. Ah, that was a fine woman. That was a fun date. I am such a good guy. I'm such a gentleman. I think she really thought I was a true gentleman. In today's lesson, we're going to look at ways we describe how people behave, such as good and bad manners. He's such a gentleman. Or, they are very well behaved. We're also going to learn about one way of making a tag question. Using, don't you think? He's got really good manners, don't you think? Or, did she? She seemed kind of, yeah, she seemed kind of quiet in the end. She, she know, maybe she didn't think it was such a good date after all. Now it's time for the movie. Excuse me, ladies, I'm going to get some drinks. Can I get you anything while I'm up? No, thanks. I think we're okay for now. He really is polite, Lisa. I can't remember the last time I met such a gentleman. I know. It is hard to find a man so well behaved these days. You said it. I went out with this guy last week. He talked about himself all night and didn't even pay the bill. Do you usually expect a man to pay? Not always, but he invited me to this fancy restaurant. Don't you think a gentleman would have offered? Yeah, I suppose you're right. It's just common courtesy. George was raised in a really strict household. His mother is really formal. That's why I think he's such a gentleman. Don't you think your upbringing makes a difference? Perhaps, but look at us. Neither of us have that background, and we're both pretty well behaved, don't you think? Sure, but your behavior can change according to your environment. When I first came to the city, I was really pushy, wasn't very sensitive, and I was really immature. What changed? Lots of things. I had this great job, but I realized it was always other people getting promoted. My boss told me that I was hard to get along with, and that people were intimidated by me. I had to change. You must have been really different then. I was. You wouldn't have recognized me. Maybe I should have followed her home. A gentleman follows a woman home after a date. They do that, right? Why didn't I do that? I can't believe I didn't do that. Oh. But I did make some great conversation, though. Or actually, did I? I, I don't know anything about it. She didn't say anything. She was quiet all night. Maybe I was talking too much. George certainly made a good impression. Let's look at some of the ways they used in the movie to describe how people behave. George is such a gentleman. This is the same as saying, George is very polite. If someone is polite, you can say they have good manners. We can also use this phrase, well behaved. We especially use this when we talk about children. Your children are so well behaved. She got a little drunk. Hmm. Well, maybe I should have used that to some, some way. I don't know. She seemed to... But why did she give me the phone number? I tried to call her back and it was a dry cleaner. Well, why would she make such a mistake? I guess that's the alcohol. What does Bridget expect from a gentleman? Do you usually expect a man to pay? Not always, but he invited me to this fancy restaurant. Don't you think a gentleman would have offered? Don't you think a gentleman would have offered? Bridget can say the same thing like this. A gentleman would have offered, don't you think? This is called a tag question. The tag is, don't you think? Let's look at an example from the movie. I guess things are falling into place. It was, she was drunk, so she was quiet. She was seemed bored, but then she was tired. And she gave me the phone number to the dry cleaning because she was drunk. That makes sense. I'm an interesting person, am I not? And we're both pretty well behaved, don't you think? We're both pretty well behaved, don't you think? When we use tag questions like, don't you think? The statement is affirmative. The tag is negative. Here are some more examples. Good manners are important, don't you think? The man at the bar was awful, don't you think? Well, now it's your turn. Can you make this into a tag question?
A gentleman would have paid, don't you think? Now I'll read some sentences in two ways. One is correct, the other isn't. Try to tick off the right answer. A. We're both pretty well behaved, do you think? B. We're both pretty well behaved, don't you think? That's right, sentence B is the correct answer. We're both pretty well behaved, don't you think? When we use tag questions like, don't you think? The statement is affirmative, the tag is negative. Now listen carefully. And can you think of some words to go in here? It means the same as, they are very good. Your children are so well behaved. Maybe I should have picked up the bill. People usually do that, right? A gentleman would pick up the bill. Now why didn't I do that? Well, today we've talked about how people behave. We've looked at words like gentleman, well behaved, and polite. We've also looked at how to make tag questions using, don't you think? George has very good manners, don't you think? We've learnt that in tag questions, we use an affirmative statement and a negative tag. Now, what was her name again? Have fun was and it? thanks for joining Bridget, us. was it? Hmm. Gee, I wonder if she's going to call me. She said she would call me.